going to talk about the goodness that comes from the MK movie, the positivity we're hearing and all the stuff that are coming from it and just what this means. But do like, subscribe with the bell notification, follow me future for more content. So as we come into the Mortal Kombat movie, we're all excited for October 25th next year as that will be where MK2 officially drops into cinemas and we'll all get to witness just what they have been cooking up with. But on the course of us waiting for that, we obviously are still waiting for the teaser trailer. We're still waiting for some first look. Looks with the only first look we have had is Kitana's one, which looks amazing and stunningly done. We're all just waiting to see what other characters look like, what else is there. We know as of recently, since some um, some people have spoken about it since the recent test screening, and they've got a lot of applauses from people. Ed Boon was very pleased about how the Mortal Kombat movie was because he was there, as he was there with Todd and obviously Dominic, and it seems he really, really enjoyed the movie and was very happy with everything that was going not in the film as we know a lot of things have been altered and have been changed such as things like the fighting the fighting has been changed since MK in 2021 and it seems now they have gotten applauses after the fighting because the fighting seems to be much more on point and how it should be. Whatever they were testing or doing with the first Mortal Kombat movie, it seems they have passed that and I think maybe having Ed Boon and the rest of NRS on the case with them on this movie has definitely helped out a lot because the seeds were there. They were all there. The characters were good, the way how they maneuvered them and the storylines going into what they had planned and built definitely something new and bringing something fresh to Mortal Kombat so obviously it wouldn't have been exactly the same as the older games but it definitely was bringing something new and I feel like with that being the testing ground whatever they have got planned for the next upcoming movie definitely sounds like they have some good things in store as we know so far we know that they're going to have a brilliantly done Shao Kahn that Shao Kahn's going to be incredible when he hears and from what the test screeners are saying that, that he's that good that they're hoping that NRS actually choose to make him the voice of Shao Kahn coming next so Martin Ford must have done a fantastic job of Shao Kahn however that must be really must have done a really good job if they're matching him up that high geez that's really brilliant we also know that like I said about the fighting the fighting's gotten a lot better it's a lot longer and it's straightly strictly to the one person who are fighting so we don't miss a thing and we feel like it's definitely got a lot more grasp to it and a lot of people aren't sidelined which is one of the things that a lot of people were worried about because obviously other main characters Characters were sidelined for Cole in the first film, but now they're making it so that everybody feels like you know they're spaced out and even because obviously they're the main characters. Obviously, it's 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 in it's you know it's inevitable that characters are going to get sidelined at some points because when you're introducing characters and introducing new ones as well, you have to show them, you have to let people see what they're gonna be like and what's going on that's the thing that we know they're going to do when they introduce new characters they have to introduce them for the audience so we can see them and everything and i think that's one thing that i'm glad that they have fixed up right and got um, right into the point where it's like it doesn't feel like that and it feels like they're evenly balanced out sure some of the new ones will get a little bit more light being shown on them because we have to get introduced to them those of us who know the characters won't need to be introduced but those of us who don't and the audience who don't know mortal kombat they will have to be introduced to who is katana who is Jade? What's Johnny Cage like? I've never heard of him. What are these characters like? Who the heck is Baraka? What's, what's Shao Kahn's goal? What the heck is Quan Chi doing there? Who is that? Is it Voldemort or something? You know, lots of people are going to think certain things and going to think who are these people? What's going on? And they have to make sure that they give these people time to shine as well. So we know a little bit more about them as well as seeing how they are. So that's obviously, um, you can't really shy away or run from those things. But I'm glad to see that they have sort that through enough time as they have done three test screenings and they've really hit it out the ballpark with this third one now the good thing about it as well which i'm very excited for is because we have until october there's so much stuff that they can do to get perfectly and perfect right this time they can actually make sure to get everything good and everything right with how the characters are with how the the sets look the cgi the the 
um, choreography, everything. They can make sure it's really good for October 25th. I think this is a really good thing that we have going for us with this because then nothing feels like it's going to be rushed because we've got a long time. They're not just going to, like Todd Garner said, he's going to work day in and day out, which he has been, to make sure that it's all perfect, to make sure it's good. He's come off the, the, the heat of films like Con Air and stuff like that and worked on quite a few of the films that a lot of people have loved. So it's going to be really cool to see how this transfers from how the first um, MK 2021 film was and the differences between the characters, how they are and having Jeremy Slater be the writer as well who did Moon Knight definitely got some good things coming from that with the effects, the storyline, what he's choosing to do with the characters and everything and if anything I know for a fact the way how the um, British Moon Knight felt definitely is probably going to pay a little bit of a, an homage into how Johnny Cage is even though he's not British but he's still going to like have that persona but just a little bit more serious and I'm glad to see that something like Johnny Cage, someone like Johnny Cage and the way how they're all talking about him truly shows that he really is a really good Johnny Cage so already the picking and the choicing must have been a really good thing for them so obviously everyone's going to have different opinions no one's going to sit here and say that they're not but i am very excited to see what's coming forward for this mk movie and it feels like everything's actually going on the right track and they've got so many months until it needs to be finalized but yet they're already on the right ball with it and they have done no more test screenings just pure editing and getting everything done and ready now that the final product has been shown and it's perfectly good for them this is where things get good. This is where we'll start seeing first looks and the trailer will be dropping next year in January or February. But this is definitely something really cool. But obviously let me know, what do you think of this? Everything that you've been hearing so far, all the videos I've been doing and stuff you've heard online, are you happy to see that at least things are changing, that they're doing a lot more better stuff? Ed Boone himself is happy and a lot of other people are happy as well. And to see that a lot of things have been changed and a lot of stuff have been debunked from how certain people were speaking online about the first test screening. Well, some are true some are not and that's one of the good things that i'm glad to hear and it's more the merrier of the good stuff but do like subscribe this is your boy future boy and that's future stay frosty peeps peace